Hi guys, I'm Tracy and welcome to today's video. So I'm going to be going over, I'm going to show you a lot of my eyeshadow blending brushes and then go over the ones that are my favorite, my most used. I had to really think hard about, you know, which ones to dig up. Should I include them? But I did my best. I tried to pick ones that are not discontinued. There are uh, some that are no longer available, in which case I'll, um, I'll show an alternative and close-ups for some of them. So let's get started. The first two I'm going to start out with, and these are no longer available, but if you've been following me for some time, you've heard me talk about these so much and that is the Wayne Goss 3 and the Wayne Goss 4. Now Hakuhodo is supposed to have a comparable alternative. I think it's the S146. It's supposed to be like the 4 and the uh, the 5522 uh, style is supposed to be like the number 3 but they're not. I've I have those brushes and they don't compare to these two. There's something very special about Wayne Goss eye brushes that I really, really like. And it might be because these were some of the first eye, nice eye brushes that I ever used. So I think I kind of developed a taste for his style of brushes. So um, that's part of it, I think. And I think once you get used to a certain type of brush and you master, you know, using that type of brush, it's a little bit challenging to get used to a different style of brush, but I'm trying. But these are ones that I've been using for some time and I'm comfortable recommending it. So because you can't get these two, the closest thing as far as the results and the comfort and the softness of brush that I've gotten to the number three is the Curato KK003. And this one is pretty new, so I was not going to include it. But anyhow, you can still get this one, and I feel like it's a great value. It's 100% gray scroll hair, and it's really good for laying down the first shade or setting the eyelids, you know, if you do that step. I always set my eyelids because I put concealer on and I I always have to do that even if it's the only eyeshadow I wear I do that I put like a light light shimmer or a light matte on top of my concealer and I'm really really liking this and I feel like and you'll see in the demo I feel like the results are pretty much identical so that is a KK003 and I have not found a replacement for the number four. I do have some that are close, such as the Mizuho. Oh, with the, there's a Mizuho CMP527. That one is, I'm pretty sure, no longer available. So um, with this one, there is nothing that I found that really compares to the Wayne Goss number four. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the like flat shaped um, blending brushes, and this one has. This is one of my, I think my first Hakuhodo eye brush. That is the J5523. And this is a very popular style. I have the um, pure goat hair one. And I, I like this one the best. I have the um, squirrel hair version and I have the uh, goat and horse hair version. I don't prefer those. I like the this one the best. And I believe this is one of their most popular um, eyeshadow brushes. And it's just, for me, the perfect fluffiness, the perfect density and length for the transition shade. So this is usually the second brush that I'll go into in with. You know what, I, I forgot to show something. And I don't like to do this. I don't wanna give anyone the impression that I'm showing off or encouraging overspending or collecting. I know some of you guys are like really serious collectors, have hundreds of brushes, but you don't need to buy a ton of brushes to get the best brushes. So I'm going to show you the container that has all of my eye blending brushes just to give you guys an idea of how many I've tried. 
and I haven't tried all of these, but about 95% of these I have. There's just this one cicada brush that I haven't. So this, this is what I've been, you know, testing through the past 18, 19, three to four years. So I've tested a lot and I do feel like the ones I'm gonna mention are yeah they're my favorite they're the most used i just wanted to give you guys an idea of how many different styles and brands and types of hairs i've tried through the years and i picked these out of out of all of these so i'm going to talk about my top top favorites okay so that's that's what i want to share before i started um anyhow if you don't want to order from hakuhodo refer makes a really great alternative with the number one it works pretty much the same i think the results are identical the hakuhodo is a little bit softer but i believe the dimensions are exact and the number one is a really really good alternative refer i think has um comparable alternatives to a lot of these hakuhodo brushes they're very popular styles okay and then i'm going to talk about another one which i thought was discontinued but it's not it's on food Aid japan and it costs a lot more but i wanted to mention it just in case someone is you know really on a hunt for this and that is the koyuto p4 and this is i know it looks like the hakuhodo kind of it's Kind of similar except this is made of goat and squirrel hair and koyuto has a very unique way of mixing their hairs so if you can see it's placed like the white hairs are like the goat hairs are like around and the squirrel hairs are in the middle i'm not sure if that's going to translate on camera but this is just such an amazing brush at the transition shade um it's also a little bit i feel like it's it's a little bit more tapered so i feel like i can do um lower lash line shadow a little better and i always have this one out because it just there's just something a little um i feel like your eyeshadow look looks a little more refined with this particular brush but it's not a must-have i say i would say this one um performs similarly to the hokoto gs2 which is made of canadian squirrel hair and um this is one of my all-time favorites as well one of you guys recommended it and i'm so glad that i have this one because this one never goes um, out of rotation i always have this one available and the reason is it can do blending packing and lining and it's just this this type of hair is just the perfect you know size density if you have my shaped eyes is it's just such a great useful brush and even if you have bigger eyes you'll be able to find a use for this one so i would say if you're not you know you don't want to you know hunt down the koyuto i i would say the hokoto is a, a very good alternative to this one because these are I mean, I guess you can kind of get away with like the refer one, but these, their hairs are just a little finer and provide a little bit more of a refined look. I would say a, bit, a little bit of a lighter application. So those are the two, those are the like flat blending brushes that I like. And then I cannot not mention this brush because it's the brush that got me into brushes. It's the brush that allowed me to discover how, um, you know, how amazing a good eye brush is when it comes to doing eyeshadow and how much of a game changer brushes make. I did not believe until like 2018 when I started getting into YouTube, I did not value brushes. I thought it was all about your skill and if you can't get your eyeshadow to look good, that means you have to practice more. And I, this was the brush that made me realize that it's the tools that I was using that was not allowing me to get the looks that I wanted. So um, this is the 19 and I'm pretty sure these will no longer be in production, but I did 
want to mention it because it's just this shape eye brush to me is so important to if I want like a more involved look like what I have today a pointed a tapered small blending brush it makes a world of a difference you can get away with using these two that I'm going to mention because I would say these are picked up over the 19 like much more frequently and that is the Hakuhodo J5529 this is their I believe their smallest round blending brush or well smallest blending brush that I have and there's just this is just such a it's so good at deepening out the outer portion of the eye and I really like it for lining the lower lash line not really lining more like you know applying shadow to the lower lash line as the first step and then I go in with a liner brush and then I do a more defined eyeliner look but I usually start it out with this and it's just the perfect size it has like a flat the top is kind of flat which works well when you're like kind of doing like very small little blending areas and um, it's just amazing and it took me a while to find this one they're just such little brushes but I have more recently this has been replaced with the Sonya G mini booster and same story they're very similar I use them in the exact same way but the Sonya G is pointy and I like that and the hairs in the Sonya G are a little bit more um, tightly um, packed and so it just has a little bit more density so um and i'm planning to get the lotus I, lotus set the soft definer um that will be my next order but i'm really really liking this one and it has replaced the hakuhodo but i you know, you know if this one's dirty i'm more than happy to use the hakuhodo all right so just one more brush and i almost didn't want to mention this because it's pretty new but I'm really really liking it for a purpose that I don't have another brush that does this not that doesn't do this step that well like this one does and that's the Ahoto S4 so it's got that short handle the WP series I'm a big fan I have um, most of the WP eye brushes and um, I was just trying to get all of them and this one happened to be one of them and it doesn't look like anything special like there's some like you know it's a little frayed and it was kind of always like that but this one I think I think it's because it's not very dense it's really nice for putting as like the last step putting like a really sparkly shadow over everything if that's the look you like and that's usually what I do and it also at the same time does a final blend if I don't want to reach back for my Wayne Gloss 3 this one does a really good job it will kind of take away a little bit of the pigment that you have on your eyes if you're someone that wants to do a final blend but doesn't want to lose any of the pigment you know something like the Wayne Goss 3 I mean you could try something like the Curato KK003 but when I do my eyeshadow I do the first few steps a little haphazardly because I know I'm going to go in with a brush like this and kind of smooth out all the harsh edges and if there's areas that are a little bit too dark this will take away and I'm really really enjoying this it was a surprise hit but I had to mention this one and um, that's going to be the last one that I'm going to mention so I'll show you really quick so these are my top blending brushes right here so yeah I guess I'm pretty happy with them and you know like I mentioned before the past you know six to eight months I've been testing a lot of different types of blending brushes and it's going to take me a while to really master them or get to know them well so I didn't want to show them even though you know I'm, I think they're really amazing 
and as time goes on my tastes change and you know I bring new brushes into my collection and some kind of leave for example it's like this the Mizuho CMP 527 this is a really good brush you can't get it anymore but I yeah this one has like fallen out of rotation and I never thought that would be the case and I do have some of these I, ha I have not even tried yet but um I just you know I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorites and I hope this helps you guys out a lot and I I'm going to be taking a little time off after this so this is Friday um, I won't be uploading for like at least a week so I just wanted to put that out there but uh, when I come back I'll be back to my regular um, two videos a week so and if there's any kind of brush that you guys or a, a specific brush you guys are interested in just leave it in the comments below or you can find me on Instagram and DM me there and I'd be happy to take requests and things like that for future videos so um, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.